of years ago, I took my sons to see the movie E.T., The Extraterrestrial. We loved it. The night after we saw it, however, one of the boys called me into his room. He was scared because he believed that E.T. was in his closet. I did my very best mother explanation and told him all about how it was just a movie and that movies weren't real, just people dressed up in costumes like he wore on Halloween. I thought that I had done a great job explaining all of this, but evidently E.T. was still in the closet. Finally, I said, son, remember in the movie, E.T. was a good guy and he went home. Believe it or not, that did it. In a heavenly coincidence to Dr. Owen's current sermon series, my Bible study class is also doing a study on Psalm 23. Last Sunday's lesson had a word study on fear. The verses that I found, one of them was Deuteronomy 31.8. The Lord himself goes before you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Don't be afraid and do not be discouraged. I noticed that this verse did not say, there's no scary stuff out there, nothing bad will ever happen to you, and there will never be a reason to be discouraged. That's not what it says at all. It says, even though bad, scary stuff is out there, and lots of times of discouragement can happen to us, that the Lord himself goes before us. That's why we're not to be discouraged or to be afraid. We are lined up behind the Lord. What a word for times like these. Let's pray. Father, thank you for going before us every hour of every day. In times like these, we need to remember this now more than ever. Please be with our community, our nation, and our world. It's a scary place out there without you. In Jesus' name, amen.